I'm about to show you five tools that are better than Universal Google Analytics and GA4 for visualizing your data. Hey, it's Jeff here, and I wanted to share a truth that many of us tend to avoid. Google Analytics has never been a great data visualization tool. And I'd even go as far as to say that it's abysmal, especially in recent years. And that's why there are so many great tools available out there for visualizing and organizing your data in one place, creating unified things like charts and dashboards across different platforms. Now, some of these tools are even free to use, but which one is the best? That's what we'll investigate in today's video. So listen up as I rank five data visualization tools that are strong alternatives to those that you'll find in Google Analytics. And of course, for a complete list of all the Google Analytics alternatives that we're evaluating, visit ddu.ai slash buy GA. Okay, our number five tool is Clipfolio. Now Clipfolio describes themselves as the first and only analytics tool that you need. Now that might be debatable because honestly, I think you need a lot more going on. You need base data to pull stuff in, but it is an awesome tool, a tool that I've used quite a bit in the past. Now their strengths are they allow you to escape static spreadsheets and upgrade your analytics to a dynamic platform that has everything you need to validate your business decisions. You can choose from hundreds of curated metrics with no coding required, import and modify your data with their robust data modeler, and then segment, filter, and visualize it in the way that you want for clear and precise analysis. And you can store your data history so you can easily compare time periods and explore historical trends. Now, this is a monster category here, the dashboard tools we're talking about. The lowest one ranked, which is Clipfolio here, actually is ranked really high. So it has a 72 as a score out of 100, which is you know, basically compared to the other categories, it'd be at the top of the other categories. And so this is a very competitive area, a very far along and mature area, and one where any one of these tools is something that you could use. And I actually have used every single one of these tools in the past to varying degrees. And so I can endorse all of them, even this one here. So just because it's ranked number five in our comparison does not mean that it's bad. Okay, so what makes up that score of 72? Well, the price is uh, relatively expensive. So for a small to medium sized site, it's gonna cost you at least $99 a month to get going. And there is no free trial. It's pretty easy to install a three because you're just connecting to other data sources that are out there. So as long as your data is accurate, installation with Clipfolio won't be too bad. Features comparison, three out of five. Privacy score, five out of five because you're using other people's data. You're not collecting any data or violating privacy. It integrates great with other products. Uh, five out of five. The report quality is tremendous, five out of five. Um, the Really, the only thing that knocks it down is because I tried to use it, and I'm a pretty, um, pretty technical person, and I had a lot of troubles with it because it's so uh, expert-driven, and you need to really understand data, so it can take a lot of effort. Building something that might have taken me a few minutes in Data Studio took me hours in Clipfolio, and sometimes I just turned around and acted confused because I didn't really know what to do. And so it does get a knock there because even somebody like myself who's an expert does have trouble and struggles with it. Um, and so that's why it gets a two out of five in that area. And this all brings it to an overall score of 72 out of 100. Now, if you're a more technical person, then you probably don't mind the expertise needed. You might have that expertise, and so this might be your tool of choice. Okay, number four is Tableau. Tableau helps people see and understand data. They have a visual analytics platform and it's for transforming the way people use data to solve problems. Now they're united by data, so there's no single way to accelerate your Tableau journey, but all roads lead through the Tableau community with more than a million members. Uh, they have the power to connect with like-minded people, learn and so on. They also offer end-to-end -end analytics and it's the broadest and deepest data analytics platform according to them. You can deploy in the cloud, on-premises, or natively integrate with things like Salesforce CRM. And you can connect all your data with fully integrated AI and machine learning capabilities, governance, and data management. And if you ask Tableau, they say they are all about embracing and implementing a data culture. Okay, so overall score for Tableau is 78 out of 100. It gets knocked a little bit because of the price. The price is relatively expensive, starting for a small site at around $72 a month. However, they do have a free tier that you might want to check out. Installation ease, four out of five. Very relatively easy to install, especially if you're connecting with other sources. Features comparison, three out of five. Maybe not as many features as some of these other tools that we're talking about here, but some pretty good features. Uh, privacy score, five out of five. Integrations, four out of five. Some of the integrations are 
maybe they're really good for, for some platforms, but they're not as good for marketers alone. So maybe if you're a salesperson, you might find the integrations better than these other tools we're talking about. But from a pure marketing perspective, four out of five. Report quality, five out of five, looks beautiful. And expertise needed three out of five, bringing it to an overall score of 78 out of 100. And a pretty strong showing here. Now, you've probably heard of Tableau before. It has been around for a while, and it does have a lot of momentum, over a million users. And so if you're already using it right now, even though it's only number four on our rankings right now, you can probably still use it to proper satisfaction. Just note they're a little bit behind on certain things like connecting with items like GA4 and some other items. Um, and that's part of the problem here is that we're talking about replacements or alternatives to Google Analytics. And until they can fix that and until it is something that's a true alternative, it's still going to be our number four ranked. Okay, let's go to number three, which is Power BI by Microsoft. Now you can find clarity when you need it the most and empower your team members to discover insights hidden in your data with Microsoft Power BI. Now there's a lot of momentum behind this tool as well. Again, it's really a hard choice to choose and to rank these because they're all so good, okay? Now you can get self-service analytics at enterprise scale, reduce the added cost, complexity, and security risks of multiple solutions with an analytics platform that scales from individuals to organizations as a whole. You can use their smart tools for strong results, find and share meaningful insights with hundreds of data visualizations, built-in AI capabilities, and a tight Excel integration, and it's pre-built and has custom data connectors. You can help protect your analytics data, keep your data secure with industry-leading data security capabilities, including sensitivity labeling, end-to-end -end encryption, and real-time access monitoring. So you can see here, we're already talking about some enterprise level features, especially if you're concerned with privacy and making sure that your data is locked down, this may be the way to go. We have an overall score of 80 out of 100, which means that it's tied for number two, actually. We listed it as number three, but it's tied with our next one for the number two slot here. Um, here's what we have. We have the price score. Um, it's actually pretty cheap, really cheap. So four out of five for the price score, although it's not exactly free. Installation ease, four out of five. Features comparison, three out of five. Privacy, five out of five. Integrations, four out of five. Report quality, five out of five. And enterprise at a three out of five that's right in the middle. And that brings us to an overall score of 80. And you could not go wrong if you were to use Power BI as your dashboard visualization tool. Okay, let's get to number two, which is Google Data Studio. Now you probably know who I am. You know how much I love Data Studio. You thought that it would have been number one, but these are objective ratings and I call them as I see them. It's the number two tool here tied with Power BI for our number two slot. Okay, so with Data Studio, you can unlock the power of your data with interactive dashboards and beautiful reports that inspire smarter business decisions. It's easy and it's free. Now you can easily connect to a wide variety of data, especially the Google Marketing Cloud and the Google Marketing System. Um, lots of Google connections. It has built-in and partner connections to connect other platforms that make it possible to connect to virtually any kind of data. And it allows you to visualize and turn your data into compelling stories of visualization art, quickly build interactive reports and dashboards, and you can share your reports with individuals, teams, or the world. And the cool thing about it is you can collaborate in real time and embed these reports on any page. So our overall score is 80 out of 100. Since it's free, it gets a five out of five on the price score. Um, installation ease, five out of five, because if you're already using Google Analytics, all you need to do is click one thing and it works. Feature comparison score, it shows up as a one out of five here. I'm not really sure why we rated a one out of five, um, but it might be because it doesn't really have any data store whatsoever. And compared to some other tools, there's some lacking features. Privacy score, five out of five. It integrates with their products, five out of five. Report quality, five out of five. And it gets dinged a little bit because of the expertise needed. While it is easy to install and to get this thing going, you do need some expertise to create some reports. And the more you try to peel back the onion and blend data and stuff like that, the more expertise you need. So it's easy to get started, but it's hard to get advanced. And that's why we give it an overall score of 80 out of 100. Okay. Drum roll, please. Let's get to our number one tool, and that is OAUX BI. Now, OAUX allows you to get a complete overview of your marketing performance. And you can do this by auditing and implementing your analytics health check and privacy checks. It has GA and GA4 measurement configuration. You can even set it up with Google Tag Manager. Uh, data collection allows you to do cookie list device tracking, cross device tracking. 
ELT data pipeline development and maintenance to get trustable and timely data, analysis and reporting, you can build it with unlimited customization, visualization and attribution modeling, knowledge and insights, end-to-end -end project implementation management, dedicated analysis, insights, and hands-on training for your team. That's a lot, right? That's a mouthful, but it is pretty good, and that's the reason why it's our number one tool. So our overall score is 83 out of 100. Um, it does cost something, so the price score is a four out of five, about $55 to get started if you're a small to medium site. Um, you can easily install it, four out of five. Features comparison score, we give it a three out of five. Privacy score, five out of five, because it mentions privacy pretty outright in the way that they set things up. It integrates well with other products, so a five out of five there. Report quality, it's beautiful, so five out of five. Expertise needed, like any one of these things, it does take expertise to get it to make look exactly like how you want it to, so we gave it a three out of five, and that brings us to our overall score of 83 out of 100. Okay, so that's it for our ranking of dashboard data visualization tools. This category of rankings of alternatives to GA featured fierce competition amongst the competitors. Now it also had the highest average score and was probably the most difficult for me to pick a winner. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that if these tools actually collected and stored data on your behalf, they might be the only perfect 100 out of 100 tool. But as it stands today, you will need GA4 for your base data and these tools will help make it prettier and more useful by blending it with other sources. And you'll be blown away by any of these tools if you use them and I hope you give them a try. And remember, for a full ranking of the tools that we're reviewing, visit ddu.ai slash buy GA. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to sharing more insights with you in our next video.